I'm pretty confident that Stick Hunter is the first ice hockey game released in Japan. The sport isn't particularly popular there. No other console ever had an ice hockey game. And this is the first one out for the Famicom, beating Nintendo's ice hockey by about a month. So why did they make Stick Hunter? Well, there's two obvious reasons. First, I strongly suspect it was intended for the US market. The game's entirely in English. Even on the label, the only Japanese is some very tiny print. Stick Hunter never made its way to the US, and I've got a pretty good idea why for that one, too. The other big reason is that less than two months after this game's release, the Winter Olympics started. This was back in the day when the Winter Olympics were held in the same year as the Summer Olympics. So that would be why two ice hockey games were released in the space of a month. When you start up Stick Hunter, you pick out which international team you want to play as. As far as I can tell, there's no difference between them. And then you choose how long you want a period to be. Then, if you're like me and have absolutely no documentation on the game, you start it up, and this happens. Stick Hunter has the worst control scheme in any sports game. It might be one of the worst control schemes ever, but it's definitely the worst in any sports game. Eat your heart out, Quop. To move around, you have to hold down the A button for fast skate, or the B button to slow skate. Then you can push in a direction and move. But you turn about as well as a 10-year-old in an ice rink, so if you do skate around fast, there's a good chance you're going to run into walls and fall over. If you manage to get possession of the puck by skating in front of somebody who has it, then you release the D-pad and press A to shoot or B to pass. I saw no difference in either of those actions. Finally, if you want to control somebody else, you press A and B to take control of your teammate closest to the puck. Except the goalie. You don't have any control over the goalie. Also, the goalie is terrible. Your goalie just vaguely moves around, it doesn't really seem interested in trying to block any shots. Any shots that do get blocked are coincidental. The other team's goalie, of course, works hard to get in your way. The one person I found who talked about Stick Hunter mentioned that the opposing team's goalie was too good, and that really the best strategy was to try to take a shot at an angle, get one goal, and then play keep away with the puck for the rest of the time. If you slam into another player, you could get a penalty. Nobody goes to the penalty box, though. The puck is just dropped near the penalized player's goal. And if you hold down the fast skate button in those drops, you can just seize it anyways. Stick Hunter is an intensely frustrating game to play. Even though I just explained the controls to you, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to use them. Everything is very unresponsive in this game. And the action and who has control of the puck is sometimes unclear. Passing and shooting just don't work. Jumping to other players is confusing. And the AI-controlled players are almost worse than useless. I can see immediately why this game was never released in the US. It's terrible. Stick Hunter is a game that nobody talks about, but I have seen blurbs call it the worst sports game on the Famicom. I guess as I move through this project we'll find out if it's true, but I dread encountering a sports game worse than Stick Hunter. <laughs>